Hello everyone, today I wanted to show you how I replaced my old NICAD batteries in my drill with lithium ion. So this is the original batteries that came with it, it was six of them, one that did not hold a charge at all. Uh, originally they were rated at uh, 1300 milliamp hours and this is the rating that's left in them, so the fives, four fives, 448 and this one is down to 214 and the sixth one completely leaked out so you can charge it or anything like that. I replaced it with the Samsung cells. Let me show you which cells they are. These ones right here. See if you can see it. They're originally rated at 2,000 milliamp hours, but they're down to 1800s. They're used cells. This is still pretty good. So I uh, did some math. Originally, it was 1.3 amps, 1300 milliamp hours times 1.2 volts. So it was 1.56 watt hours per battery times six batteries. The whole pack, when it was brand new, had 9.36 watt hours worth of storage. When it was new, it's uh, it was down way below that, and one of the batteries quit working. That's assuming that's why the pack quit working. And uh, we replaced it with lithium, uh, 1.8 amps a cell times 3.7 volts is uh, 6.66 watt hours uh, times four cells. We went up to 26.64 watt hours worth of storage in here now. Uh, looks pretty original. It's already done. I'm gonna show you that it works. And it works. So if you're interested, I'll show you how I did it. First step is, I guess, to tear it apart. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. I was gonna show you there. See if I get it to focus. There it is. They have like a protective pin right in the middle, and uh, some of them came out all right with my tool because I don't have a correct tool that has a little hole in the middle. So I had to dremel some of them in the middle out just to get to it with my screwdriver there. But they're all off now. So I think I figured out the way the thing works. So uh, there's uh, six uh, batteries uh, wired in uh, series. They're all 1.2 volts. So we get the positive up here. This is the positive. And uh, this is the negative for the whole battery. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you get your negative off your six battery. Uh, this one is not used for anything at all. And uh, this side pin has got the half voltage, so 3.6 volts right here. So uh, going to the lithium batteries, I think it'll be fairly simple because we'll go in, uh, instead of six in series like this, we'll put two in series, two in parallel. That will give us pretty much the same voltage. And uh, we'll hook up our half voltage wire uh, in between the series. Right on, this should be pretty easy. This is the charging board. Uh, we're not gonna be able to use this charging board, so I'm gonna just take this out, completely remove it, and uh, might have to trim some of this, uh, uh, some of this plastic right here so our batteries can fit. But I'm gonna try to take all these batteries out and replace them with the lithium ion ones.
All right, I think this is layout I'm gonna go with. So it's gonna be four batteries, but like so. So two of these will be in parallel, and uh, two of these will be in parallel. Put a flip like this. Each one of these is 3.7 nominal, so uh, 3.7 by 6, 7.4 volts. So this is gonna give us pretty close to where we were, and uh, just a little bit higher. And as far as the capacity goes, I think we're pretty much gonna double the capacity of nickel batteries so with this lithium ion. Uh, I'm gonna start by uh, hot gluing these two together, getting these in there, hot gluing these two together. And getting them out, getting them spot welded together, uh, getting wire soldered on, and uh, go from there. I'll show you how I end up doing it there. I just got done spalding the pack there, so this would be the positive side, it would be the negative side. Just tested the voltage to 7 volts, this battery is pretty much discharged, so they're about, you know, 3.5 volts a piece. Pretty dead, and, uh, you know, the back is all connected together. So, yeah, 2 series, 2 parallel, positive, negative. So, positive is going to go to this pin right here, very top one, negative is going to go here, and halfway through the pack is going to go anywhere into the right here this way so this is be able i'll be able to service the pack through here so I'll charge it this way if you want to charge one bank and you can charge the other bank the other the other way so two and three three point seven three point seven and then you know all, all together anyways there so uh this is all spot welded and good to go i'm going heating up my uh soldering iron and i'm going to solder the positive onto here and then to the batteries and stuff and uh, once it's, it's put together I'll show you All right, it's all wired up now. So, uh, like I was telling you, that this is the negative goes to the negative side. This is the positive goes to the to the positive side here, and there's a half voltage that goes to the side pin. Other one is still not utilized like before. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna hot glue that in there, like so, so it stays nice and good. Then I'm gonna hot glue it and put it in the drill, make sure everything works, and then I'll button it up and uh, put it in the case, and uh, it'll be all done. I was gonna let you know the reason I'm using two 
18 gauge copper wires because the stock ones right here they were 16 gauge and I didn't have any 16 gauges so I took two 18s put them together and it'll give me more amp rating than the stock 16s are so it uh, should be pretty safe here as far as that goes uh, and then I was gonna tell you about the batteries those are Samsung Samsung batteries they're 2000 milliamp hours they have about 1800 left in them so they are used batteries and the they're meant to put out 15 amps a piece, so uh, it should be pretty torquey little guy once we get it in the drill. Alright, the hot glue more or less dry, so we can try it out, see how it works. This battery is pretty, uh, pretty much all the way discharged, not all the way discharged, they're down to 3.5 volts there. They go down to 3, so they're pretty low. Okay, that's in. Nice. Alright. Oh, time to put it in the back in the case. Just in case you started to wonder how in the hell am I going to charge this thing, I charge with my RC charger here. Right there, I'm going to hook up positive negative. It's going to charge it up to 8.2 volts. That's where I'll stop at, at 2 amps. Uh, the reason I'm going to only to 8.2 volts would be 4.1 volt per cell. Uh, this drill sits sometimes just uh, hanging out, so I'm not going to charge the cells all the time and have them sit full charge and then uh, and ruin themselves. So I'm just going to 4.1. Let's keep it a little bit on the safer side, but full, so whenever I use it, it's good to go. We're two and a half times the capacity in this pack than we were in a stock one, but stock one didn't work at all. So whenever the stock one was new, we're doubling, more than doubling the capacity with the, this lithium-ion batteries. Uh, I can also service it, so we still have uh, my pin right here, that's a halfway pin, half voltage pin, so we'll be able to, we can charge two packs separate to keep them balanced up, and then this way it charges a lot faster. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to keep an eye on it, so I know if it, if it one bank is higher than the other, I can balance them out or whatever there, so there's no automatic balancing, so that's something I'll have to do myself. And also there is no discharge protection, so uh, I have to... Keep an eye on that drill so I don't over discharge the cells and or ruin them also. But I'll get a feel for for the drill and I'll should be able to tell when it's uh, starting to get weaker and uh, to check the to check the cells to make sure I'm not over discharging them. This is something I'll have to do manually from now on. But uh, two and a half times the capacity when it was brand new, uh, million times the capacity because that thing was dead. This is the cells that I pulled out of there. I was gonna check them out. One was leaked out, so I just chucked it out or whatever there. But I'm gonna check all these with my RC charger, discharger, or whatever there. So I'll be able to figure out how much capacity I left in those and um, maybe use them on some other projects down the road. But yeah, this is gonna be my drill pack now. I'm pretty happy, pretty excited. Once it charges, uh, it'll be good to go.